Welcome back everyone, my name is J7Jace, bringing you a video on the best characters in Jeanne d'Arc. Even though it is possible to beat the game with a very diverse party, there are a few that are just a cut above everyone else. Let me know who you like using in the comments if you played this game before, I'm curious. Here we go. Starting off strong, we are going with the main heroine of the game, none other than the iconic, not to mention kind of cute, Jeanne d'Arc. Even though her stats are just well-rounded and she doesn't excel in anything, she is the first character that gets access to an armlet, which allows you to transform after X amount of turns. Transforming heals you, grants temporary stat bonuses, endows you with a special unique ability, and gives you Godspeed, which lets you take additional turns assuming you finish off an enemy. This all lets her take care of most opponents from early to mid game relatively easy. In the post game, because she is a lady, she can equip Goddess Armor, which gives substantial bonuses to your defense and magic defense. Because she is so versatile with no real weaknesses, she is one of the best in the game. If you love archers or long ranged fighters, then Marcel is your boy. He does fantastic damage from a distance and is a useful party member at all points in the game, especially in the post game when you have access to insane skills like Sky Dart and Meteor Bolt. Just try to keep him as far away from enemy melee fighters as his defense stat is lacking, but in short, you won't ever regret using him. Jill is a competent physical attack character with a spear that allows him to avoid counterattacks from enemies like sword wielders who can attack a tile away and is able to hit two targets. Like Jean, he has an armlet and his unique abilities are much stronger versions of the skill Take Flight. For these reasons, he is good in virtually all battles, assuming he can be deployed. Next is the most nimble fighter in the game, Colette. He fights with a dagger and has a low defense stat. However, he has a very high evasion rate, walk rate, not to mention critical hit chance, making him a very deadly character. I recommend using him throughout the entire game, but in the post and late game, he shines even more as he can dodge nearly all attacks with the right setup, and with 4 and 3 hits, his damage is outright insane. If you're a fan of magic, then Richard makes the best mage because he has the highest magic attack power and can equip the best staff in the game. Like Jean and Jill, he also has access to an armlet which is also useful. Even though magic damage tends to decline in the late game, he is still very useful as a support character with healing and buffing for your allies and should be deployed in the toughest of battles. Just keep him away from the front lines. Lastly, arguably the strongest character in the game is Rufus. Even though he starts off a bit weak because of poor accuracy and walk move stat, he shines very well into the late game with the proper skill stones to allow him to be a killing machine on the battlefield due to him having amazing attack power, defense, and HP, which allows him to be the ultimate frontline damage dealer who can one-shot most enemies. These are the best characters by far in the game because of their ability to get rid of enemies while also being extremely versatile. Let me know in the comments who you like using in your playthroughs of Jeanne d'Arc. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.